Hi, my name is Pastor James Brown, the pastor of Love and Life Fellowship in Tacoa, Georgia. And I want to share a few thoughts with you today as we prepare to go into the new year. And uh, maybe some of you will be watching this video in the new year. And I want to share something with you, a scripture from God's word that where he talks about us and his plans for us. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. What is God saying to us in this scripture? First, he's saying that he knows the thoughts that he has for us, the thoughts that he thinks towards us. What he's saying to us is that before he even thinks the thoughts, now don't get confused, but before he even thinks the thoughts, towards you, he says he already knows them. Now, how am I sure of that? Well, in Genesis chapter 1, it said, in the beginning, God created. So that tells me that from the beginning, God created everything that he has for us. So according to your life, God has created every purpose, every plan, and every good work. Now, what is a plan? A plan is is a definite purpose. It has definite action. So what God says concerning you is I have a definite purpose for your life. I know that because even for Pharaoh, when God allowed Pharaoh's heart to be hardened so that the children of Israel could go free, God had a definite purpose for Pharaoh. So what God is saying to you today is I have a definite purpose for you. Not only that, but when God has a purpose for you, there's a choice in the matter. Well, the choice is, do you will to do God's will or do you will not to do God's will? Once you have become a part of the body of Christ, once you have received the Holy Spirit, then you have a double obligation. One is to the is to your obligation is by nature to fulfill righteousness because God has imputed in you righteousness, which is a characteristic from God. And then you have an obligation to the Spirit. And as a believer, others should be able to see the difference in your life. Well, maybe some of you do not, are not a believer and you're watching this video. What you will understand, what you should understand or begin to understand is that even for you, God has a definite purpose and a definite plan concerning your life. And not only that, but he's thought good things for you in advance to get you to the place that he desires for you. Well, it says that he desires to give you a hope and a future. What does that mean for you? Well, God's, God's hope for you and his future for you is his desires. Desire means of the Father. So in other words, God wants to give you something good from him. So the things that he placed in your heart, the desires that you have, they come from God, the good things. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from the Father. So what I want you to understand today is that God says, I know the thoughts I have for you. Thoughts to, to, to prosper you. Thoughts to give you a hope and a future. Not only that, God's plan and design so that it represents him. Everything in his plan has a purpose and is God-driven. Not only that, but the Holy Spirit works in us to complete that plan. Now, I want you to understand this in all of that. If we are operating outside of the will of God, then we cannot fulfill the plan of God for our lives. There's something missing because God's plan is designed for us to be led by the Spirit. And the Word tells us that the Spirit of God is a comforter, a counselor, and a guide. So what happens to you when you're operating outside of the will of God? Well, then when you're walking into that place when you don't have understanding, you don't have any counsel. What happens when you walk into that place and you come to that crossroad and you don't know which way to go? You don't have a guide. What about the times when you just need decision-making decision processing? The Holy Spirit is there to equip us to equip us for every aspect of God's plan. So God designed it so that he would be included in the equation. Without him, we cannot fulfill the work of God. God said, I know the thoughts I have for you, thoughts to prosper you, and not to harm you, thoughts to give you a hope and a future. What I want to say to you today is if your plan does not include God, if your plan does not include the work of the Holy Spirit, if your plan does not allow room for God to move, then I want you to take time, reconsider, and understand that God knows what he's thinking concerning you. And they are good and perfect thoughts.